Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to capture the videos using your camera of your phone and save it in the download folder from your Android app. So let's begin. Let's create a new project and we can name it as video app video from camera app yeah and click finish for the environment to load it may take a while perfect my environment has come up so i'll do one thing i'll start the emulator also in parallel on the right hand side and first and foremost i'll update my manifest file to do all the required changes so in manifest file first we'll include the required permissions uh, which will be required to save the this uh, whatever the video will capture to a particular location so we can give them the permission of access media location i think that should be sufficient i will also do one thing i'll also give permission to read uh, media images or read media video i don't think it's required but i'm just putting it on safer side in case i want to play it also and in the java code what i'll do is in the own field itself quickly i'll give the permission Okay, so my app is starting. So it has started. So I'll just minimize my emulator on the right hand side. Like we don't need it. And let me complete my Java code. Activity compact. No, not activity service, sorry. Activity compact dot request permission, which is context with this. And new string. And in terms of string, we can use one by one both. One is the media location, control C. Control V, comma, and if I go back there, that will be read media videos. Control V, perfect. If it asked, just press Alt Enter so that it can include the required library. And now I will have to give the required permission, which is basically package manager dot permission granted. Yeah. So we have taken care of our permission part. What else we will need is we will need to include something called provider tag here. So let me add the provider tag provider. This one, yes, perfect. So in terms of Android auto it is just add the your particular signature. So I'll go back here and over here. I'll just use my signature of the app, which is basically the app name. Control V and then I can add something called as provider. Perfect. And what is the and name of this? So name will be Android X dot co dot content file provider. Perfect. This one will be good enough. Some of the other things which I can add over here is probably Android exported and this we can make it false. The other could be Android grant UD permission and this make it true. This will require and what else and metadata probably you can add here and here in this metadata you can add the file name so Android name and this could be Android dot support dot File provider paths, and here you can add the respective resource for that. And here we'll have to give the path of our file which we have not yet created. So I'll come back to this one. But before that, let me try to complete this. So what I'll do is I'll just complete it this way. Yeah, perfect. Similarly, I think I should have done is over here i should have added this so yeah but i'll do one thing i'll just pull this provider tag after metadata like this yeah, perfect okay so the only thing which is left is this line 35 i have to put the resource so for that we have to go to the, our resource folder over here and inside xml we can create a xml uh, file for us and so just right click over here new xml resource file and give any name so i'm just giving file path and root element could be instead of preference screen screen i think paths is what we need yeah and then just click ok this will create the template over here 
uh, for you and over here the only thing which you will have to add over here is the path name right so external path and the name will be external files and path could be dot so that's all in terms of this file i'll go back to my manifest file and over here in the resource i will add that particular file so to do that i think at the rate of xml are we expecting xml slash ah, this one okay it came perfect so my manifest file is done now it took a while but yeah this was important this will be using it now i'll quickly go to my layout part so in the layout i don't think i need this text view so i'll just delete it and i will just need a button to invoke it so because it will be using the intent right so i'll just call the so capture the video something like that i can make this button text as capture the video okay and i'll give the right constraints to this particular widget and if i go back to my java code quickly i'll create a public void method button capture video view view and i go back to my layout and in this layout i'll assign the on click attribute of this button to that particular method what we have just not defined so in, from layout perspective also we are done now we focus on our java code so in our this method button method first and foremost what i will do is we'll create a storage manager we'll use the storage manager concept to access the download folder get system service and the storage service is what we are needing over here perfect it may ask you to type cast so just do the casting and that's will fine then we will use something called a storage volume out of it just to is volume and the storage volume will be nothing but a storage volume and this will come from storage manager dot get the storage volume and here we will get the what 0th index probably because that's for the internal right so this is for 0 is for internal storage so we will be accessing it internal storage because download folder resides there now from this we can do one thing we can create a file variable for say from the file video and this could okay press alt enter so that the required library is added and then new file and we already have the storage volume dot get directory dot get path so this will take me to the internal storage root folder so from there i can add something called download and then i can add the file name so for file name what i'll do is i will do something different yeah i'll just use the system clock system dot print time simulator so it will come some kind of uh, unique name every time and i can name this file format as say into mp4 perfect so once I have it, then I can use this variable to create my UD. So UD and UD video file. And here I can use something called, we'll be using something called file provider, what we define in our manifest file. If you notice the file provider dot get UD for file. And here we'll be using probably this thing. So, uh, context will be of like this and then we have to give the authority so authority you can go back here and copy paste the same authority what you have copied here so control c coming back here and control v i think this is my authority and what else is required is okay it should have prompted now well, i think for some reason it's not prompting file video is what is required Perfect. So we have got now our UD and now we can create an intent uh, using this UD. So intent, intent camera video and 
here new intent and inside this we can do the media store action will be to capture the video yeah perfect this one and then we can use something called as yeah, intent camera video we can put extra and what we can put over here is say for example the output file so media store dot output no 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 Yeah, and then what we can do it is we can add our output details here. Perfect. So once we have it, then what else we can do is we can just start the its intent, and that should be sufficient. So not sure why it is being read. Okay, I think I got it. So it should not be activity, it should be activity. Yeah, perfect. Now that's all. I will run it. Let me see how it comes up. And Meantime, I'll just do some kind of code cleanup. So my code is coming up. Okay, so it's asking for permission. So either you can select uh, photos and allow all. I'll recommend go for allow all and click on this capture video. It should start the camera. Perfect. So it's started the camera. And if you can notice, but yeah, right now if I start the recording, it won't move. So I'll do one thing. Go to this extended controls over here it will open a new window and over here if you go i think no no not here i think you should go to the sensors and inside this device pose and if you rotate here you see it rotates this right so let me start the recording and the recording has started so i'm moving around a bit here and there perfect okay I know I'll stop it's around 9 seconds or 10 seconds video. I stopped. It came back to here. But let me go to download folders and see what happened. So I can see just now a particular file has been created. And if I open up this file. Huh, perfect. So if you see it's a 9 second video and it is rotating the way I rotated right so it's the recording of what happened so this is of course virtually I have shown but if you do this in your real device it will work as it is so that's all I wanted to show you how simple and easy it is so the only catch is you have to make sure that you are able to create the file provider to get the URI out of it and then use it to create the uh, uh, descriptive uh, video file so that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice